Good morning, lovely people. My name is Brenda Kay, and I am so glad that you are here and joining me today. It is a little after 6 o'clock in the morning, and I thought I'd try to get in a full day of filming today. I don't have plans to go anywhere. Um, I have some things to get done around the house. I am deep cleaning, um, deep cleaning and going through stuff and getting rid of stuff and making tough decisions on furniture pieces and really trying to get this place under control so that I have more time for other things. Um, so I thought I'd take you through my full day. Well, I take that back. I do have a place somewhere to go tonight, but I can take you through my full day. Um, so I've already gotten up, washed my face, done all that, and just trying to get some water in before I enjoy that beautiful cup of coffee right there. Um, it's important to hydrate in the morning because you've just gotten, you know, seven, eight hours of sleep, hopefully, with nothing to drink. So hydration is good. I'm just going to sit and enjoy this and then get dressed and get started on my day while I'm going to drink this, then I'm going to enjoy that. Um, it's sitting there waiting for me. It's my motivation to drink. So this was full. I drink about half, so I'm almost there. Um, and then I can enjoy my coffee, watch a couple YouTube videos while the house is quiet. I just kind of collect my thoughts for the day. Okay, so it's been a few hours since my little quick intro that I filmed when I first woke up. I got kind of sucked into watching more YouTube videos than I planned because while I was sitting there I was like, oh, I'm going to redo my nails because I didn't like the color that was on them before. It was a gel polish and I just really didn't care for it. So it has texture to it and that bothers me, random fact. So uh, I ended up redoing my nails and then had to sit for a bit. Um, it's probably a, you know, not a good thing when you're gardening so much, but having my nails done makes me very happy. So I do them. I wanted to talk a little bit about um, the audacity of hope, I guess is a good way to put it. So I know in my life I have faced some huge challenges and some major setbacks and heartbreak and but I always hope for a better future and that the um, culmination of my dreams is right around the corner and I just watched Roots and Refuge's most recent vlog and I will probably talk about them a lot because I am catching up on all their content from their move and plus watching their new stuff and I'm just so inspired but they now have this beautiful land and her, Jess's husband, Maya, just got two horses. He'd always dreamed of having um, a place where they could have horses again. And, like, it can happen. Um, you just have to hold the vision and trust that there is a plan for your life. And that good things do come. Um, and I know, I know a lot of people... I'm like, well, but so much bad is happening in the world. And it's true. So much bad is happening in the world. And I have... It's it's distracting. Um, it's easy to get caught up in that. And you know, we should do something, but can we, one person really change the world? And no, one person cannot change the world. Um, one thing that you do cannot affect what's happening half a world away and the suffering that's going on over there or even just a couple thousand miles away in your own country. Um, you can't really change that but what you can change is yourself I don't think anybody's past capability of changing of growing of adapting um, human beings are incredibly adaptable otherwise we wouldn't be still alive on this planet we have to adapt um, so I think anybody is adaptable and can grow and better themselves and nobody's beyond that capability in that in that changing yourself and becoming the most 
the best version of yourself you can be. Um, finding your own inner joy and peace and those things that fuel your soul, you do cause ripples in the world. Um, you know, the butterfly effect where a butterfly flaps its wings on one in one area and then there's a hurricane in another area of the world. That idea that if you make the changes in your life and you get to where you want to be and you are joyful and peaceful and can share that with others, then um, it changes their life and it makes a difference in their life and then they make a difference in someone else's life. And each life we impact impacts, you know, at least if you impact one person, then the idea is that they impact two people and then it, it just grows and grows and grows and like ripples in a pond. And um, there is, especially in the things that the world has experienced and you know, many of us have experienced over the last couple of years, it's audacious to hope for a future, for a brighter tomorrow, for enough food and enough resource and enough um, love and joy and peace and happiness for everybody in the world. And the nice thing about it is it is abundant and it is limitless, um, especially, you know, hope and joy and kindness and peace and a sense of prosperity that is limitless. Um, you're only limited by what your mind can conceive. And if you can conceive of no limits, then there are no limits. So, um, one of the things I am working on, and oh, hopefully my camera battery holds out for a little bit longer, um, is my vision board back here behind me. So for now I'm putting it up on my wall because this is, I see this from my bed every morning and I have the two most important areas to me are love and then my future homestead. Um, everything else really is immaterial. Um, I know finances play into that, but I'm not into um, symbols of wealth, like fancy cars and clothing and all of that. To me, this is wealth. This is a symbol of wealth. Um, having land that is mine, that, or, you know, my family's land that um, I can do with, we can do with as we please, and growing our own food and sharing that abundance with those that we care for and maybe through that process teaching others inspiring others to do the same so i don't have things up here like you know a fancy car or a big house or anything um so love and having a significant other to share that journey with and then having that that land those are my two things and that's what is going to go up here um so i keep for some reason, my printer is only printing in black and white now, and I can't figure out why. I think I need to reload it and figure out what's going on. But I just have pictures that I found, um, did like a Google image search, and then clipped them. Um, and then, you know, a combination of like quotes, um, or like we think, we might think that we are nurturing our garden, but in fact, it is our garden that is nurturing us. Um, this is a book cover for a year's worth of food. Yes, you can. Um, another book cover building an off-grid house because I would like my property the, or the property it's my property it's not gonna be just my property um to be off-grid and I would like to have goats and I would like to have sheep and a beautiful chicken coop and chickens and wide open skies these are actually images from um real estate listings in my state that are a little further north um have the beautiful like big lush garden and in this picture it's well it's not even on screen but there's um a husband and wife tending the garden and harvesting and um and one of the quotes i have up here is to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow and it's attributed to audrey hepburn um whether it's actually hers or not you know you never know when you find things online um but that is that's true to plant a seed is to hope for tomorrow and i kind of talked about hope i think before or maybe that footage didn't make it online, but to hope in, a, a, in the dreams that maybe, and the vision that I see for my, my life and my children's life and um, 
despite what's happening in the world and the the concerns of gas prices and food prices and food shortages and you know how am I gonna afford to build this vision when I can barely afford to put you know make sure that we have gas in the car and food on the table like most of us are um there's still hope there's still hope that I can build this and that the pieces are going to fall into place and the resources are going to show up and um it's going to happen cuz cuz I believe it's going to happen and it's going to take work like um I like the quote I believe it's I believe it's Dave Ramsey I'm not entirely sure but pray like it all depends on God and then work like it all depends on you so it's going to take work I'm going to have to put in hours of labor in my garden in the heat um, I'm going to have to put in hours filming and editing when I would rather be laying on my bed watching YouTube videos um, like I did this morning. I'm going to have to, um, you know, plan and execute and spend hours in the kitchen cooking and preparing when it would be easier to just go and get something that's pre pre-made pre at the grocery store or, you know, order in a meal um, because the greater vision is, is better than, you know, staying where I'm at. Um, one of the things I need to finish, and I'm so excited to finally finish this project, is I have a sewing project to do. Um, by the way, you're probably going to see me in this dress quite a bit for a while. Um, it's the only house dress I currently have that I've made, so I don't really have a lot of, like, house dress stuff. Um... So that's something that I definitely have to work on. I also have to make some aprons. So you're going to see me in this for quite a bit during videos when I'm not outside working in the garden because I won't wear this in the garden. Um, but I started making a 1940s play suit to wear to the lake. The shorts did not fit me. Um, even though I made a larger size when I sat down, they did not. It, it was not flattering. Um, we'll just say it that way. It was not flattering. But um, my hard work in the gym and changing my diet and eating, you know, more wholesome, healthy foods has made a difference. And my shorts now fit. So I'm excited. Um, so I need to finish them. I need to put the buttons in. I have some cute, like, big white buttons to put on it. And I need to finish hemming it. I hemmed one leg, but I got to hem the other one. And then, um, the skirt also needs a button and I'm not hemming this. I plan to just leave a narrow raw edge. I don't know if you can see the stitching there, just a narrow raw edge and just let it do its thing and fray out as it feels. But, um, I put the buttonhole in, I just have to put the button in place cause you button it on and then um, it ties, the ties come around and tie, so it's pretty secure. So I have a little skirt to go over the shorts. And then I do have also, this is a little heavy, so I don't know if I'm gonna wear it, but um, I have a jacket that I made um, to go over it. And this is all a 1940s reproduction pattern. Um, this one right here the simplicity pattern. I decided to make all the pieces in this rust and tea, turquoise combo. And then here is the swimsuit top, which I have to do some work on because I started to sew on, I was going to make these non-buttoned and sew them in place and the straps. And I think, maybe I didn't. I thought I had sewn one on and sewed it on wrong, but maybe I unstitched it already. Anyway, I need to go sh through and make sure that the top fits well and finish up the shorts because I'm excited to be able to wear this to the lake this weekend. Um, I do because I'm spending all Saturday on the lake, so there probably won't be any filming on Saturday. Um, at least not that I'm going to share. I'll take some pictures and stuff, but um, yeah, I'm going to spend all day, like 12 hours on the lake. It's going to be glorious. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, so I want to have this finished because my other swimsuit really doesn't fit me anymore since I've lost the weight. I can't get the top adjusted right so that I don't, you know, have a um, wardrobe malfunction. 
while I'm on the lake. It's going to be a busy day. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be a good day. So I'll capture as much as I can of it. And we'll see when the day ends up. Okay, so I'm just sitting out here in the garden trying to decide what to do with myself. I went to the gym. Um, I had an appointment with my personal trainer. Um, and I'm feeling rather sore. <laughs> she pushed me quite a bit, but it's good because I'm making progress. Um, we did like my weight and measurements today, so I'm making progress in the right directions, which is always a good thing to find out. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I really want to plant some seeds, um, but I first of all need to um, get these Oyas in the ground. I had filmed the process of making them and then somehow lost the footage. So they are literally just, um, well, I'll show you. Okay, so this is what they are. It's just a terracotta pot. I plugged the hole with some silicone. Um, so I need to take the tape off the bottom, put these in the ground, then you fill them with water and put the lid on and see how far the water dissipates into the surrounding soil. So I think I'm gonna do that right now and then show you guys what it looks like after they're in the ground. Okay, so this is what this looks like in the ground. So this is my three foot by eight foot garden bed. And I went ahead and filled it with water I already see it making its way, saturating the pot. So we'll leave that for the night and see what it looks like in the morning. You might be the mama of a little boy if Optimus Prime is joining you on the couch. I'm enjoying the rest of a quiet evening at home. I just did a couple little things in the garden. I really want to plant some seeds, but I know I need to see if these Oyas will cover enough ground water-wise to keep my seeds going once I put them in the ground. So that means I need to take the time to let it set for 24 hours and see how it's doing. So I'll check it tomorrow. I'll check it in the morning and I'll check it tomorrow afternoon and see. Um, that's about how long it should take for it to get to its um, maximum seepage. It's not the right word. So anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Um, so I have time to edit it this evening and get it up in the morning. But I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in your timeline. And I will talk to you in my next video.